open 400. Uh, you win there. How did, how did you feel that race went? Um, I, th I felt it went pretty well. Um, I got out good. Got out a good 80 meters and just chilled in into the back stretch. I wanted to um, kind of float around the um, curb and go hard like the last 120. And I felt I executed my plan real well. Um, just want to kind of, you know, work on like the ending of my race, like the last 50, just, you know, keep marching, keep my hands moving and uh, keep my head down. Just kind of some things me and my coach work on in practice. It looked like you had a hard time not taking the lead on that back stretch. Yeah, um, I don't know, it's, we had a, Long week of practice this week, and uh, with the races so close together, you know, uh, our muscles got kind of tight, and it was just, you know, a long day for us, you know. And I was disappointed with my effort on the 4x4. I felt that, you know, I wanted to come out a little better. I wanted to, you know, win, win the meet for my team, and I felt I let my team down. But um, hopefully next week we're going to bounce back and have a strong performance for me in the relay. Would you consider this uh, a lesson learned in how to race, you know, a top-level 200 guy in, in a 400? Um, no, I I think my plan my plan was really well. It's just you know my legs are just not not as well as I thought they were, and I kind of waited around a little too long. Really didn't like get a full warm up in for the four by four because I didn't I wasn't sure if I was running it. Um, so that's that's about it. Just you know preparation before the race. You know be mentally prepared and come out there with a harder harder focus next time. How much did you have left in the time? Um, I had a little bit before the 4x4, uh, we, I was throwing up a lot. Um, I had like a stomach problem this morning, so I was just, you know, trying to get through it, you know, trying to help my team out the best of the, to the best of my ability. Um, I wanted to come out with the win, you know, unfortunately I didn't, and, you know, it's kind of hard on me, but of course I'm going to bounce back and have a stronger performance later on in the season. When did you know you'd be running the 4x1? Um, today, yeah, coach told me today, DeAnthony is a little banged up in the, he needed me to run a four by one, so you know I stepped in and uh, did what I had to do on a four by one. That's sort of a tough uh, mental switch to suddenly be in that race and have to worry about the, the passing and the car and all that. Um, I did it last year too. Same thing happened at regionals. DeAnthony got injured like 10 minutes before the race, so I had to step in last year and kind of help him out and get to nationals. So I'm kind of used to that. Um, you know, just whatever my coach tells me he wants me to do, I just be like, yep, and that's what I try to go out there and perform to the best of my abilities and try to help my team win. Could you pass him at the stretch when he came back? Um, no, I think we was just neck and neck, you know, around the back stretch. I, I could have waited a little bit longer, but I seen him make his move, so I tried to make my move, and uh, he just was a little stronger than me the last uh, 150. You never got ahead of him? I thought you got ahead of him. Um... I think we was like side to side, neck and neck. It might look like it, but we was just side to side a lot.